Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a what's inside my hospital bag, so I am super excited. I do want to mention that I am a first-time mom, so I obviously have not gone through labor. I also am a teenager, so I also don't really have friends that have gone through labor for advice or anything. The only thing that I've really been able to look at is YouTube. So if you guys have any advice, any moms out there um, that you think I should add into my bag, definitely feel free to leave that down in the comment section because I will be reading it and uh, just in case. I also want to let you guys know that I am not really a picky person so a lot of things that I didn't pack that I know a lot of people did pack in videos and or mentioned it and everything I didn't because I know that I will be fine with what the hospital provides like diapers, um, you know, socks, stuff like that. Um, I'm not a picky person at all. Lotion, things like that, I didn't really add into the bag just because I know the hospital's gonna have it and I am perfectly fine with whatever they want to provide me. So yeah, I definitely would say that I kind of underpacked compared to a lot of other people, which is hilarious because I feel like a lot of people, especially on YouTube, they always start off their video like, I know I overpacked, but, and I'm, complete opposite. I know I underpacked. So definitely leave whatever you guys think I should put in there inside the hospital bag. I'm going to quit rambling and just get right into the video and show you guys what I have in there. <laughs> all right, so I have all of my stuff sectioned off on this side. I'm just going to point and kind of explain what everything is. I have my going home outfit right there, which I will lay out for you guys. I have like 5 million pairs of underwear right there. Yes, they are all ugly, just in case you know accidents happen. Um, I have my Baby Be Mine nursing gown. Oh, there we go. It's in focus again. I have my Baby Be Mine nursing gown right there that of course matches with his. Um, I will also lay that out for you and explain more on that. Um, I have my toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, all of that stuff. I bought all the miniatures um, brand new just because it was a lot easier and that way I don't forget anything. I have my deodorant. I got male deodorant because it smells so much better and it's actually the same kind that Patrick uses so I mean I get a smell like him so that's fun. Um, I have my little scrunchie and then I have my I think that's body wash and um, hair wash right there. Then I have my razors because I cannot stand, you know, hairy armpits or anything. So even if I'm only showering for one night, I just want to get that all shaved. <laughs> and then I have right there is some hair bands, bobby pins, all of that good stuff. And then of course I have some nipple pads right there and some nipple cream uh, because I heard that breastfeeding at first is pretty painful. So I just thought that'd be great two pack. Um, I actually bought a new brush, which I can't believe I did. It was cheap. It was only like 99 cents. It's not like a nice brush by any means, but um, I just didn't want to forget my own brush. And then I have wipes right there. And those wipes are for everything. It's like body wipes. So in case I am too lazy to even shower, need to take off my makeup, anything like that, I have wipes right there. So that is all of my stuff. So now on to the more fun part. Um, this is all his stuff. Um, I have his Baby Be Mine gown. Um, he does have the little handcuffs on there, so I didn't pack any mittens for this outfit. I did, however, pack socks because, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. But all of the outfits I made sure have, like, his feet covered, his hands covered, and his head covered, just in case. Um, and then so this is going to be probably his first outfit. I think that's the one that me and Patrick agreed on. Um, so yeah, it comes with like the little socks because I don't really want to bring too many because I don't want to lose any. And then it doesn't have the handcuffs so I brought little blue handcuffs to match. And then of course I'm obsessed with foxes so this is his little fox outfit with his Wubba Nub. Um, I know it's not like a necessity to bring the Wubba Nub or anything. It's honestly... Just in case, also for pictures, because this is his whole fox ensemble. And his, this outfit actually has handcuffs as well, so I didn't bring any mittens for that one. And then I have his first teddy bear right here, which actually has his heartbeat in it. I will show that to you guys. Me and Patrick went to Build-A-Bear um, and made it together. I wish I would have vlogged that, but I wasn't into YouTube at that time. But yeah, I will show you that because that was the coolest thing ever to get, especially early on in pregnancy, when you don't have that many ultrasounds and stuff to look back on, you could hear your baby's heartbeat. So that is just 
so perfect to me. So yeah, that is everything that I have for the hospital bag. So I definitely didn't go for anything super glamorous. It is just a super oversized shirt. I actually had it before pregnancy. I got it from Walmart. It is a size small, but it will definitely fit me. Um, and then I just have some normal stretchy black leggings that will be super comfortable. Um, but yeah, I didn't really care too much what I'm going to be wearing. I did wash it in baby detergent though, so that way it won't irritate his skin. Um, if, you know, obviously I'm holding him. And then this is the Baby Be Mine nursing gown, which I am in love with. You could use it even after, you know, when he's here and it's matching forever, which I love. Um, Patrick doesn't have anything matching because he isn't with the cool kids. So me and Patrick or me and Grayson are going to be cool AF, but yeah, so it has really stretchy, um, like a little, what is it called, um, a neckline, there we go, it has a stretchy neckline, so that way you can pull your whole booby out, feed your baby, and it's super awesome, comfy, it is stretchy right along right there as well, um, so that way it's just made for comfort and for cuteness. So that is what I have packed for my outfits. So I actually forgot to mention this stuff. Um, I will also be bringing my purse, a speaker, so that way I could listen to music while in labor, my phone charger, my camera that I actually might switch to for filming on YouTube. This is not the camera that I use. I use my phone camera, but um, I might be switching to that. I just need to check it out. Um, but I also have, I need to get batteries for it. So that's what else I'm missing. Um, and that is his blankie that he'll be wrapped up in whenever he goes into the car seat. So that'll probably stay inside the car. That's the blankie that my mom got that I was talking about. And then I also will be bringing a mirror. Um, I do need to call the hospital and see if they have a mirror because I want to see him enter the world and everything. So I just need to know if they have one or if I need to provide one and how big it needs to be. So that is everything else. I also will be bringing snacks that I don't have packed because Patrick and my mom will probably pick me up some um, whenever I am in labor. So this is what the actual diaper bag looks like. I'm just going to show you how I organized it all inside. Um, it has so many little tiny pockets and everything. It's awesome. So I just have my toothbrush and toothpaste and all that good stuff in this pocket. This is all my bathing stuff, so everything that goes with that, like deodorant, um, shampoo, all that stuff, goes in here. This is all hair, so it's um, the hairbrush and, you know, the bobby pins, all that stuff. This is his side of his clothes, and then these are my clothes. I am honestly not a really picky person, so I will probably stay in the nursing gown for however long I'm there. Um, I don't really care. If it gets dirty, I'll just wear a hospital gown. I don't care. But I also have his going home outfit, which I didn't show you guys because I do want it to be a surprise. I have that in here. Um, in this little zipper right here, I will show you. Um, I have all his hats, mittens, socks, and shoes. The shoes are brand, well, they're not brand new. They are actually, they used to be my uncle's shoes. Um, and that's for his going home outfit, so I didn't show it to you guys. But, um, they are all clean, so it's not going to get, like, the hats or anything. Dang, zipping, zipping this up with one hand is really hard. But anyway, yeah, so that is everything in this pocket. Um, I have all my underwear and stuff in this pocket. Um, let's see, in this zipper right here, I have his Wubba Nub, um, because I want to keep it clean. I also have my nursing stuff in there, so that um, ointment that I showed you guys and the pads that I showed you, that goes in there. I'm not even going to bother trying to zip it up right now. And then I have the wipes in here. I also have um, some slippers in there. I don't think I'm going to use them, so I didn't really show them to you guys because I'm probably going to just use the hospital socks. Like I said before, I'm not a picky person, so I don't really care <laughs> about the hospital socks, you know, um, but just in case, I did bring slippers, um, and I didn't show you guys any shoes or anything with um, my going home outfit because it's going to be whatever shoes that I walked in with, which honestly are probably to be like Nikes or something comfortable like that because that's all I've really been wearing throughout my pregnancy because, you know, your feet hurt, they swell, so you got to take care of them. So, yes, that is basically everything inside my diaper bag slash hospital bag. Obviously, whenever I'm done using my hospital bag, I'm going to empty this all out and then create my diaper bag, and I will do a video for you guys on that. But this, so far, is a really awesome bag. It fits everything. Um, another thing that I forgot that I should have mentioned that I'm going to put in here is, of course, his little bear right there um, and also his blankie. Um, 
He has a special blankie that my mom got him, so that is also going to get fit in here. Uh, it's just going to go, like, right on top inside this big, you know, big hole. So, yeah. So, here is the Build-A-Bear that I was talking about earlier that I said I'd show a little closer-up look of. Here's his little certificate. Um, we named him after my uncle, um, just because if you've seen all of the crazy things that relate to my uncle and Grayson. I just thought that was really fitting, so it is Daniel James, um, and it belongs to Gray, and all of that fun stuff. <laughs> um, but the actual bear, he has four hearts. Um, he has a heart that I kissed, a heart that Patrick kissed, a heart that my mom kissed, and then a heart that my grandma kissed, because that is definitely his main immediate family. Um, so yeah, he has four hearts inside him, and then he also has the heartbeat, which I will show you guys right now. Um, so you just press right here. Let me see if you could hear it. But... Yeah, so that is the heartbeat. I hope you guys could hear it. Um, but yeah, I just wanted kind of like a plain, simple bear for him. I didn't want anything too extravagant, like blue or anything, because as you guys know, I don't like gender roles or anything like that. So I just thought something super neutral um, for him would be perfect, so that way, you know, he could love him and, you know, all of that stuff. So yeah, that is the Build-A-Bear that I got him that I am bringing with me. So that is everything that I have inside my hospital bag. Um, I have eight more days left until I should be going to the hospital. Um, of course, it could come anytime sooner or even later. So, you know, I will definitely keep you guys updated on all of that. But I also wanted to mention, because I feel like I didn't clarify it enough, the Build-A-Bear that I got Grayson in there, that is Grayson's heartbeat. So it's a recording of his heartbeat that we put inside the Build-A-Bear. It's not one of those pre-recorded heartbeats. I mean, I think you kind of tell a little bit because it's super fast, um, which is what a fetus's heartbeat sounds like. So yeah, it is his own heartbeat. So that's why it was so special to me. I'm not sure if I clarified that enough in there or not. So yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos and thank you all so much for the support that you have given me. It truly does mean a lot. Also, side note, I know my hair looks like shit and I know I'm in pajamas. It is raining outside. I had no plans today except to make videos. So I was not just going to get all gussied up just to make videos. So I know I look like shit. You don't have to tell me in the comments. <laughs> but yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, have a great one. Bye.